Guess who forgot to get a drink? <laughs> hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguise 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we, uh, this is a lot of stuff. Let me get rid of all this stuff. It means nothing to me. Nothing! I'll accept those things, and that. Alright, anyway. In the last episode, we, uh... Tyrant Valvatores revealed his true identity to the prisoners of Hades, and then Axel went to unleash the Forbidden Chamber and everybody scattered. Do people have anything to say? I guess not. <laughs> uh, what's the status of my healer? Can I afford... no. Alright, so... In this episode, we are going to go to map 5, Dark Execution. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. We got a got a whole bunch of barrels for some reason. This looks to be a map that greatly favors ranged units, um, so let's range it up. Everybody still resists, uh... Everybody here still resists fire, that's a tad annoying. Still, we do what we do. And by that I mean completely I fail and hit the. Here I come. There. I mean, this is why we have a bow user, right? Besides the besides me just being lazy. Take this. Yeah, bow users—they're pretty great. It's the meow beast. Meow. Send some of our crew up there, and I'm gonna do it. and we really gotta watch out, cause you never know who uh, when you're gonna be in somebody's uh, range. <laughs> There's that patented sneeze of mine again. <laughs> Alright, Salvatore's gets another level up. That's good. Here we have a... Uh, here we have zombie bows. That could be uh, problematic to us. Just a little bit. Actually, that doesn't help us very much at all. Oh well. Can I lift you off your pedestal? Yes, I can. You guys deal with him. Now see, this is clever, uh, this upcoming segment is a little more dangerous because now we have archers that can attack anywhere instead of thieves that only attack in a straight line. That's 
That's a pretty clever bit of design. I like that. is in the uh, fortunate position of getting to attack twice because of the Geo effect. And Stella gets, uh, gets even more hits in because of reasons. That's a nice bit of bonus gaugery there. <laughs> bonus gaugery. Uh, target height problem, you say. Actually, no. You should you should get out of range of that gun. That ensures you get taken care of. Okay. Oh. Okay. I was not expecting Fenric to be within range of that, but okay. Can indeed reach somebody at the with the, at an exorbitant SP cost, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. Let's see if we can't get somebody off their high horse here. Whoops. Alright, Val, you deal with that one. Actually, no. I'll just have you do a regular attack and finish them off with Prillin Bomb. Oh, whoops! <laughs> That's not where I wanted to get you. Oh, well. 20 hour workdays. Are you secretly a Prinny? Or are you a Prinny activist? The world may never know the difference. with Kitty. That's a thing. Rutil, you need to get over here where you're relevant. Let's see. Um... Fenric, you are going to need some healing. Stella, you you get back over here and uh, attack the attack. Here I come. Or that. <laughs> that works too, I guess. Let's see. Actually that's a that's a bit of risky business there. Pretty dude. Yeah. 
All right, that I guess that works. Let us advance. Here I come. Ooh, 140. Ouch. That's uh that's pretty painful, but uh being a fighter, Cyrus can totally take it. Way to go, Cyrus. Out, out of range. Well, let's get him up here where he's in range and then do a thing. Time to bust some balls. I got this. I can lift you off your high horse as well. Yay! Horses. Um, that's not telling me a whole lot about your health there. Here I go. I wonder why that shows up quite sometimes. Like, what? Is, why is that a thing? And that's that. We got a lot of cash for that. I'm impressed. All right, that was a. Uh, a hard day's work, I suppose. <laughs> In the next episode, we are probably going to go into the Forbidden Chamber if uh, if the usual Chapter 3 obstacle does not block us out. Um, will we make it? We'll find out next time. See you all then. Bye bye